As long as she looks good, Kennedy. Three, two, one. What are we? Welcome to another episode of What to Buy. And today's episode is a little bit spooky. <laughs> spooky. Today we'll be showing you a very easy and affordable way to make your Halloween costume. Because we all got no money and we're on a budget. Yes, I don't believe in like expensive costumes. I just, I just believe in creativity. I just want to say that last year, last year we had like a Halloween costume competition in the company, and my costume was like freaking on point. Mm. You went, and, you were like an egg, right? Yeah, it was a sunny side up cute picture. You see, you see, and it was free. You were right. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. First one, first one, Kishan. Honestly, I have very high expectation of Kishan because Kishan has done theater arts. Means he confirm go all out for the costume one. I have like zero expectation. <gasps> He will want to look good. He has very specific interests. Star Trek, dinosaur. So it's very expected. I hope he come out like half naked because the best costume for him is his amazing body. Yeah, I also hope you come half. <laughs> hey! Okay, in three, two, one, Keisha! <laughs> oh my god, this I did not oh expect! Oh my god! <laughs> 80s, Boogie Nights, realness. Zombie edition. Also, oh, you're a zombie. I'm a zombie and we're going to 80s boogie night. I love it. Oh, yeah. I could be the Jackson 5 fly. Like. I was actually thinking Jackson yeah, 5. Yeah, I thought you were Michael Jackson. I thought you were Michael Jackson for yeah. a moment. Is this top yours? No, so my uncle went for a disco when he was a young man. He had this shirt, he kept it. Oh, oh that's, that's nice. Yeah, and then I had these pants that I bought from Paris Plaza a long time ago. $30. Shoes were sponsored by Converse. Glasses, uh, Wabarana office. This afro, $5. Makeup was the most expensive. Just wanna. Oh, necklace, my mother's covered. Mother, thank you. She doesn't know I took all this. If I have have a Halloween party, right? And if it comes like this, yeah. right, I'll be very happy. Yeah, me too. Hey, guys, I think I got the wrong memo. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but it's Halloween, right? You're going to come as an oh, shit. like a ghost, right? Undead. I don't know how to outperform this. Eh. I don't know how to outperform this. Eh. I feel like this will win. Eh. Okay. Perfect. I'm going to give you a 7 up. Spooky out of 10. I can see you actually wearing this normally. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. Including it's the not really a costume if you can wear it normally. I know people always look at me, oh, yeah, yeah. Halloween is going to be dinosaurs, yeah, yeah, Star yeah. Wars, or whatever. But a lot of people don't know that I love the 80s. And I've always wanted to dress up like I was one of the Jackson 5 or so. The thing is, you look good. Yeah, that's the thing. Good, thank you. Yeah. And that's a problem for me. I, I really love this uh, outfit. I wouldn't think it's scary because it looks so damn good. <laughs> for spookiness, I'll give 5. Okay. Yeah, but for looking good, i give you a 10. Thank you. You look good. Uh, and that's very practical. For creativity-wise, I just thought that like, there's not much creativity in that. And like, uh, yeah. So what's the score? <laughs> what's the score? 5. Ooh. 5. Very practical, party-friendly. Hey, Kishan, it's good. Yes. Up next is Ningyi. <laughs> I well, know! That's the first. That's the best thing about being first, right? Yeah. Come, I want to see your outfit. Come, let's bring the boogie. All right. So before Lingy comes out, I just want to say that I, my expectation of her is going to be very low effort, but she's going to be trying to be very creative. Yes. Confirm. I think she will hard sell it. Yeah. She's been hard selling it from like this morning. What was she before? A sunny side up, right? Yeah. yeah. So how far can she go now? Yeah. What, what's, <laughs> what's bigger than a sunny side hard up? Boy. Hard boy. Hard boy. Hard hey. boy. Three, two, one, Lingy. Yo, yo, it's a it's an experience, okay? Um, um, so imagine I'm at a Halloween party, okay? Then I'll say that because it's a pandemic, so uh, do you guys want to go to Japan? And you'll say yes. Yes, yes. yes. She's too excited. <laughs> and I bring you to Fuji Mountain! <laughs> With the sunrise! Which is my like handbag that I plan to Bring to the party. Yeah? You know, this is one of the, the, the cases where they say it's so bad that it's actually. You don't think it's good? You don't think it's good? Hey, this is snow, eh? I just think it's bad. I, I, I have no words. Uh, I know who I'm not inviting to the party. <laughs> Sunrise! But how about you just stand up and just take our critique? Lah? And then, if then I want to talk, right? I can still turn around and I can talk. You look like a bed sheet covered in dandruff. <laughs> Would you like to go to Japan? No. No. I just want to tell the viewers that uh, we actually had slightly more than two weeks to prepare. Yeah. Hey, I thought long and hard about this. The storyline lah. Yeah. yeah, and okay. the, the look. No, that's just the storyline. This, this is the student, right? That the day before the exam, right? Then start finding things about the house, right? <laughs> no! And no. then, right? Come up with this 
and then hard sell it to everyone. She literally did that just right before the show. We found the uh, no, the no. Sheet no. Well, I actually prepared said. this like last week, and then I I tried different sheets, okay, to try to get the correct color. Of Don't blab. This is the sheet you're about to wash. Uh. A week. So how much is your outfit? How much is your outfit? Yeah, it's free. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> the snow and the hat. I mean the sunrise from our prop room, and then this is our studio uh, bed sheet. I would invite her to the party, but make her stay at one corner to look like a feature. <laughs> Just look like a feature wall. I think it's not bad, but I would have been more impressed, right, if the fun also is a different outfit. Yeah. You know, if the fun, she's like, yeah. oh, I am this character, but Mount Fuji, then I will be impressed. Maybe the fun, it looks like the Japanese flag. Then when you uh, turn, it's the monument. Maybe. France, that will sell the show. I am uh, Mona Lisa. For that, right, I give 5.5. 5. Huh? I mean, for her to have the audacity to come, <laughs> up, to come up with this costume and force us to see Mount Fuji in it. If she didn't tell that it's Mount Fuji, would you think that that's Mount Fuji? No. Yeah, exactly. So, no. I thought she's a witch or something. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. But I wanted to give you a 1 because it's almost zero effort, but because you're, you you know <laughs> sell it so hard, um, and it's, it's quite creative, so I'll give you a 3. It's a lot of effort. You know how many different kind of outfit I went yes, through? Yes, Can I just say, this one also looks like a lot of effort. Like I, this. If you come up with this one, yeah. I'll actually be more impressed. Yeah. <laughs> How many points did you give her? You get a four for me. One last look, one last All look. Alright, up next, Kelly! Honestly, highest expectation of Kelly. Why? She actually does cosplay. She did Harley Quinn. But you know what? What? She every day dress like she's doing a cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, no, but which is a good thing. Yeah, she's a good thing. She's that means she knows how yeah. to dress. What so you are expecting Kelly to come out as Kelly? Yeah. As long as she looks good, Kelly. Three, two, one! Wala way! I'm a skeleton! <laughs> y'all you think that's better than me? Slightly. I don't think so. Okay, well. wait, wait, wait. I made this myself. Okay. Oh, okay. All of it. Yeah, okay, okay. From okay. top to bottom, I crocheted this, I crocheted the skeleton part and nice. everything. Yeah. Sorry, I cannot see anything. I'm staying in the right place. Okay, la, but it's quite cute. La. I have to say, this is quite cute. Huh? Don't go back. Yeah, it's cute. I, it's I cute. say, yes, this outfit right, suits other people but not Kelly. Why? Because <gasps> Kelly is sexy. Yeah. But you're like a you're like a stick figure skeleton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a stick figure skeleton. Oh, it's quite skeleton. cute, huh? Actually, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because to me, right, I think Halloween is supposed to be scary. If you want to dress up as sexy or whatever, I can dress up sexy any other day. Exactly. But today is the day that I want to be silly. I want to be funny, you know? So what I did was I, I used, this is all cotton yarn. So I actually yarned this um, headpiece and I put like eggs because I'm dead. And then I yarn the rest of the skeleton and pin it. If you switch off the light, then it will be really just like me as a skeleton, you know? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Actually, actually quite cool. If you had the blue light, you know, yeah. she, would, she would glow. Yeah, yeah. Nice. This one, I'll also be quite happy if she comes to my Halloween party. Trick or treat. Yeah. yeah. It took me six hours to make the whole thing. Oh, wow. Because this is, I, I took about four hours to make this and about two hours to make the rest. The yarns I use, I think it's about six dollars. And then this dress is about, I think, ten bucks. So, it's sixteen dollars. Manpower is quite a bit. Good effort. Effort, I give like 10 out of 10. Yeah, it's not bad. And it's comfortable to wear. Yeah. And if you don't like somebody at the party, you just wear the hat. If you like them, then you too. Take out. Yeah. It's very good, very practical. Seven, including the effort pudding. <laughs> Yeah, you get a seven from me. I think you bring cuteness to Halloween. It's very cute. You're just missing the pumpkin, lah. I personally just give her a seven because I, I feel like yours makes more sense for me, and also because I have very high expectation of Kelly. Why? Yeah, have good. no expectations of me? No, I was I was prepared to get my mind blown, and it wasn't lah. Mm. Hey, you're very bitchy. I'm <laughs> supposed to be the bitch on the show, eh? But if you come like that, nobody's gonna believe you. <laughs> <laughs> It is now KG's turn. I, I tell you first, when I heard you were on the show, right. I'll put you here. Can I just say it? Yeah. I think I put in too much effort in mine. There's never too much effort. <laughs> now go, we got, we got KG. Expectations? I have very high expectations for this boy because he's always coming to the party with his A-game. So any guesses what's his costume? Okay, I think he made his costume because he was talking about like sustainability and all that. Yeah. So I think he didn't spend any money. Mm. Things made of trash. Trash, uh. Yeah. I think he used a uh, cardboard box. I feel like he's just gonna come as a giant Pokemon card. Yeah. Let's see, let's see. Are you ready? We're gonna count down now in three, two, one. Woo! Oh, okay! Oh, okay! Oh my god! Hello! Hello! 
Hi! So, for explanation, this guy is called Danbot actually. It's like a character in a comic. Uh, it's a cardboard robot. He's so, oh, he's so cute! Actually, this can be very cheap, but I went to buy the cardboard. So, it total cost me like $30. The what? cardboard is $30? Yeah, because it's brand new cardboard and I have to buy tape. And I actually can see you guys because the eye is actually um, black mesh paper. So, you can see through. I can see you guys, but you can't see me. Okay, okay, I'll show you guys. Okay, so if you see inside. So cute. It's a helmet. That is clever. Yeah. Okay. I can just see wherever I want. Oh. So, technically, if you want, this outfit can be free. But you gotta go I, find, you gotta go I, find your cardboard I, I box. Go find cardboard box which I cannot find, so I go buy la. Okay, okay. I actually think yeah. that this this is the most effort. Right? Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. he has to buy the cardboard and then he has to cut it yeah. to fit his body and then he has to take yeah. the helmet in and buy the mesh paper. And How long did it take? Uh at least two hours. I wanted to do it standing up. Then I realized it's like damn ugly. Jason was like, I think it's cuter if you kneel down, and then we decided to kneel down and it's more cuter like that. Cuteness, you have 100% for me. Yeah. But Halloween-wise, I feel like could have made the character a bit more spooky, scarier, you know? Because now it feels like this is Universal Studios. Meet the puppet. So cute! Which is cute! Which so is cute. cute! It's a chick magnet. Yeah. KG, you are a chick magnet if you stay inside of the box. Honestly, how I see Halloween is like mainstream people doing cosplay. It's very cute. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I would rate this an 8 out of 10. I'll rate this a 10 out of 10. 8 out of 10. I'll rate this a 10 out of 10. Actually, no, I give. I rate this 9 out of 10. I rate Because I, I still think mine is more creative than this. Yeah, sure. I rate this 10 out of 10 because there's effort, there's thought, and uh, there's the wall factor when he walks out. Yes. Expected of very well done. Yeah. Very, very well done. That's it for today's episode of What to Buy. Hopefully, we inspire you to make your own Halloween costume. Comment down below to let us know which one is your favorite costume. Mafuji! 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 I say Mang, you say Fuji! Mang, you say Fuji!